Shashi well, Darudi. I do agree with the uh, objections that have been raised, but I have some more objections, sir. Please, I have four objections. The first one has indeed already been said. Water has been listed as a state subject. Parliament does not have competence to make this law. So one thing is that there is supposed to be an exception for interstate disputes coming to the Union. But there is territory in many dams that are purely intrastate. The centre has no competence on that. Second objection, sir. Uh, we've already heard part of this objection, which is that there is no mandate to offer compensation to people who are victims of dam failure. And there is also the environmental impact, which has not been mentioned so far, which has not been taken into account in the bill. Damage to aquatic life and natural resources likely to be affected have to be mentioned in this bill. Third, so this has not been said by anybody, is a conflict of interest. The Central Water Commission is a representative of the National State Committees on Dam Safety, which are bodies regulating. But it's also involved in prescribing guidelines and periodic inspections, sir. You cannot have under our constitution, according to the Supreme Court, a CWC functioning both as an advisor and a regulator. That is, as the body that advises dam operators, as well as the one that regulates and keeps a check on them. So there has to be a separate body. Be Finally, sir, fourth objection. The bill does not define the term stakeholder. It, it uses the word stakeholder, doesn't define it. Who are the stakeholders? The public of India, sir, the people of India are also beneficiaries and potential victims. If there is a dam failure, as we have been fearing in Mullapariyar in Kerala, millions of our ordinary citizens will be suffer. So that too should be done. This bill should be withdrawn, sir, brought to a parliamentary committee, oh, no. and we should discuss it. Thank you, sir. sir I